oriented approach. In close vicinity is another facility spread over 65,000 square feet with 150 plus employees. The vacuum division is the new and fast growing company. The first and only Indian company to have successfully manufactured dry screw vacuum pumps in-house. Saluting the Make in India initiative, a current installed capacity to manufacture over 600 dry screw pumps per year with state-of-the-art, best-in-class mother machinery. Both these companies combined to form the Everest Group, a name synonymous with the world's highest mountain, the Mount Everest. Not just the same name, Everest Group has the same values too, to set benchmarks of performance, provide value for our customers, and to become the top solution provider of pressure and vacuum systems in Asia. The Everest Blowers Group with its two divisions has been scaling heights ever since its inception, becoming the largest blower and vacuum pump company in India. Since the early days, the Everest Blowers Group has been standing tall, towering above all other manufacturers of high quality equipments in India. For me, it's a business I've been doing for the last 38 years. I belong to a service background with my father being a government lawyer. As an engineer by qualification and years of experience, today I'm proud to steer one of the fastest growing high-tech manufacturing companies of the country. I was fortunate to have hands-on experience in every department, design to production, to sales and marketing, having sufficient exposure, which has been used constructively towards the growth of the company. Supported by a pool of young, talented Indians, we have always focused on solution-oriented approach and application engineering, creating new markets for our product. This has given us an edge over competition. Current economic indicators project a very encouraging image of India as a robust, fast-growing economy with least risks. The world is bullish on India, and so am I, on the growth of Everest. We have a strong succession plan with highly competent second generation to carry on the mantle of Everest growth and legacy. We wish them all the success. Under the Everest Blowers Group umbrella, many world-class products are manufactured in both the pressure and vacuum division. In 1998, Everest Blowers Group went on to get its first ISO certification and also crossed international borders by exporting the products overseas. Over the years, Everest Blowers Group has made sure that it has abided by all industry norms through various certifications. The Everest Blowers Group has been associated with many different industrial giants from different verticals bagging prestigious orders from them. An innovative thinking and approach has made the company excel in many first-time achievements. Everest installed their first CNC machine in mid-2000s and since then has increased number of equipments to cater to the growing demand of the market. Everest started manufacturing their range of tri blowers as a more efficient alternative for reduction in noise and vibrations. The group has received accolades and admirations in the recent years, touching the sky. The vacuum systems facility also started a dedicated unit to cater to the needs of complete skid-mounted systems requirements of our customers. The vacuum division is currently manufacturing around 350 to 400 complete skid-mounted vacuum systems annually with a very wide industrial base spread across various applications. The Everest Blowers Group is proud of its journey in scaling new heights and is in the pursuit of excellence. We are following latest industrial practices of Kaizen, 5S and other lean manufacturing techniques. To always remain connected with our stakeholders, we are available on all the leading digital platforms and have an online complaint portal, technical manuals, and a vacuum calculator. It's been a little over eight years 
since I've joined our family business and we've experienced good growth with some diversification. I really enjoy what I do as every day is a new learning of something interesting helping us serve our customers better. So at Everest, we believe in very strong fundamentals of quality and innovation. We are the first and only company in India to have manufactured dry screw vacuum pumps, mechanical vapor recompressors, amongst many other products. With presence in the Indian market for over three decades and more than 150,000 equipments successfully installed, running in 38 countries worldwide, we are a trusted brand. Our vision is to further build and sustain a positive relationship with our customers, to have an innovative and motivated work environment, and to ensure a bright future for all our stakeholders. The Everest Blowers Group, standing tall like Mount Everest, reaching for the sky, now and forever. One of the fastest growing economies in the world has seen a renewed focus on manufacturing in the recent years. Delhi, India's federal capital, houses the corporate office of the leading blower and vacuum pump manufacturing company, Everest Blowers Group. Bahadurgarh, an industrial hub of Haryana, is home to the world-class manufacturing facilities of the Everest Blowers Group. Spread over 150,000 square feet, 250 plus employees with a capacity to manufacture 14,400 blowers per annum. This is the pressure division, ready to meet the future demands of twin lobe, tri lobe, and turbo blower globally. The largest manufacturer of roots blowers in the country and among the big names in whole of Southeast Asia, providing a solution oriented approach. In close vicinity is another facility spread over 65,000 square feet with 150 plus employees. The vacuum division is the new and fast growing company. The first and only Indian company to have successfully manufactured dry screw vacuum pumps in-house. Saluting the Make in India initiative, a current installed capacity to manufacture over 600 dry screw pumps per year with state-of-the-art, best-in-class mother machinery. Both these companies combine to form the Everest Group, a name synonymous with the world's highest mountain, the Mount Everest. Not just the same name, Everest Group has the same values too, to set benchmarks of performance, provide value for our customers, and to become the top solution provider of pressure and vacuum systems in Asia. The Everest Blowers Group with its two divisions has been scaling heights ever since its inception, becoming the largest blower and vacuum pump company in India. Since the early days, the Everest Blowers Group has been standing tall, towering above all other manufacturers of high quality equipments in India. For me, it's a business I've been doing for the last 38 years. I belong to a service background with my father being a government lawyer. As an engineer by qualification and years of experience, today I'm proud to steer one of the fastest growing high-tech manufacturing companies of the country. I was fortunate to have hands-on experience in every department, design to production, to sales and marketing, having sufficient exposure, which has been used constructively towards the growth of the company. Supported by a pool of young, talented Indians, we have always focused on solution-oriented approach and application engineering, creating new markets for our product. This has given us an edge over competition. Current economic indicators project a very encouraging image of India as a robust, fast-growing economy with least risks. The world is bullish on India, and so am I, on the growth of Everest. We have a strong succession plan with highly competent second generation to carry on the mental 
of Everest growth and legacy. We wish them all the success. Under the Everest Blowers Group umbrella, many world-class products are manufactured in both the pressure and vacuum division. In 1998, Everest Blowers Group went on to get its first ISO certification and also crossed international borders by exporting the products overseas. Over the years, Everest Blowers Group has made sure that it has abided by all industry norms through various certifications. The Everest Blowers Group Good afternoon everyone. This site, Hemlata Yadav. We welcome all the participants. Uh, today we are here to present a webinar. Um, this site, Hemlata Yadav, representing Everest Vacuum for their webinar on the subject of advantage of cordinal production from cashew nut shell liquid with high vacuum. Now, taking up the webinar forward, we would like to share content of today's webinar. Firstly, we will cover the introduction of Everest Vacuum and the speakers. Then we'll discuss raw materials, cardinal and its uses, how is it made. After that, some traditional methods for cardinal production, modern and efficient way for cardinal production. Then we'll discuss features and advantages of high vacuum with Everest dry vacuum pumping system. We'll discuss some case studies and cost benefit analysis over conventional technology. After that, we'll discuss contaminants and how to control them. We learn and how to overcome the common mistakes and make your operations more efficient. Then we'll discuss 2030 rule, the Everest way to do it. At the end, we have a Q&A session also. Now, I would like to request our GM sales, Mr. Rakesh Saujja, brief us about company and product. Mr. Rakesh. Good afternoon. Once again, a very warm welcome to all of you uh, to have taken out your time and joined us on this series of webinars that we have been conducting since July last year for our customer fraternity. Let me introduce our company to you. Everest Vacuum is a 13 year young company of Everest Group, which was started with the objective of providing turnkey vacuum solutions. Through our parent Everest Group, we were already manufacturing and supplying mechanical vacuum boosters to our customers. During this course, we realized that there were hardly any structured players in this segment, providing complete engineered skid mounted vacuum systems, rightly sized to the customer process requirements. So therefore, what the customers were typically doing was purchasing vacuum pumps and boosters from different companies, aggregating it themselves, and thereafter facing problems related to sizing, jamming, condensate carryover, etc., leading to frequent pump failure or drop in operational efficiency. This is when the management of Everest decided to work in a structured way and offer complete comprehensive solution on turnkey basis to our customers. We studied our customers' requirements and with our over three decades of experience, we successfully started engineering the most effective and efficient and optimized vacuum solution so that our customers can focus on their strengths and start treating vacuum more as a utility than a capex. This led to the inception of Everest Vacuum. Yes, Mr. Rakesh. Thanks I for making us. Yes, Mr. Rakesh. At Everest, we have a mission statement, mission 555. What is our mission? Our mission at Everest Vacuum is to provide innovative engineering solutions in the entire range of vacuum by having state-of-the-art technology, optimized design, excellence in R&D, and manufacturing with trust of training and development of our employees, continuously expanding our operations and markets, and possibilities of collaboration to service our customers better, and therefore our mission, to move the needle from 50 CR to 500 CR in five years. That's how the mission statement is all about, mission 555. Five. Next slide. So under Everest Vacuum, what are the various kind of product offerings that we have? We manufacture dry screw vacuum pumps. We do manufacture mechanical vacuum boosters. We aggregate industrial engineer vacuum systems. 
liquid ring, which is also known as semi-dry vacuum systems, oil ring base, again known as semi-dry vacuum systems, rotary vane vacuum pumps and systems, and we also manufacture LTTE, more commonly known as zero liquid discharge or mechanical vapor recompression. On the right hand side, you can see some pictures of the products that we manufacture, public assemble in our own premises. And what is our promise? Our promise is clean, reliable and sustainable vacuum, improved product yield, deeper and consistent vacuum, cost and space saving by right sizing, reduced batch cycle time, and most important, reduced operational cost. Back to you, Hemrata. Thanks, Mr. Rakis, for briefing us. Uh, now taking up the webinar forward, we would like to request Mr. Mukesh, please present. Hello, good, good, good afternoon everybody. This is Mukesh Singh Desai. Uh, I am representing this webinar on the subject of cardinal production from CNSL. It is, that is cashew nut liquid cell. Now, what is cardinal? Cardinal is a chemical which is distilled from CNSL. That is anacardic acid. From anacardic acid, we can uh, extract cardinal. CNSL is a natural food chain and renewable biomaterial. CNSL is a reddish brown liquid extracted from soft honeycomb structure inside the cashew nut cell. It is also known as cardinal phenol. Cardinal phenol is properly known as cardinal. Now, this is the CNSL. Uh, this is the CNSL that, that is uh, reddish brown, and this is the cardinal, which is distilled. It is uh, light pale in color. Now, uh, these are some properties of uh, cardinal. Cardinal is hydrophobic in nature, means it is a uh, flexible with the material. Its freezing point is below 20 degrees centigrade. It has density of 9.93 gram per mole and its boiling temperature is 225 degrees centigrade under reduced pressure of 1 mm Hg. That is under very high vacuum. Cardinal is basically improved flexibility nature it has good drying after baking. It has high insulation property. Because of this, this has fast, <clears throat> this has very vast use in chemical industries. These are, uh, these are the properties of this uh, phenol based cardinal, which, uh, uh, which has, sorry. Now, raw materials for the cardinal. This is the cashew nut. This is the cashew nut and this is the cashew nut cell. There is a honeycomb structure in cashew nut cell from which we obtain CNSL. After crushing the cashew nut in impeller, we get this CNSL. Moving forward, cashew nut, cashew nut uh, cardinal is distilled from cashew nut cell liquid. Cardinal can be manufactured in both batch process and in continuous process. I mean, batch process decarbonated CNSL is heated up to 225 degrees centigrade under high vacuum in a reactor. After a few minutes of heating, the condensation starts and we collect the condensate to the receiver. Then then the, uh, then the reaction starts and uh, to a fixed time of 10, uh, 10 hours approx, the batch, batch is emptied and press batch is started. The cardinal is filled in tank and the residual is collected in another barrel. Its residual is also used in uh, brake lining industry and uh, uh, resonated industry. This is the process flow of cardinal and reservoir manufacturing. Same here, CNSL is uh, stored in a tank and the amount is fed in the, in the reactor and after heating, we take the condensate 
and uh, vacuum pump is used to vacuum the system now uses of cardinal cardinal finds its uh, use in chemical industry chemical is used in laminating reagents cardinal is also used in rubber compounding and coatings because of its flexibility nature it also saving uh, serving excellent raw material for preparation of high grade insulating varnish and paint and enamels it is also used in friction materials because because it has a flexible nature as pigment dispersant for water based inks it is also used in uh, manufacturing of phenyl amines which is used as curing agent cardinal cardinal can substitute phenol in up to 30% phenolic resins used as plywood bonding now we are moving forward to the traditional method of manufacturing of cardinal this is the manufacturing process in which we are using steam jet ejector vacuum system for creating vacuum in a steam jet ejector vacuum system we uses steam jet ejectors which runs on steam now the steam is very costly to us it is cost approx 1.5 rupees per meter cube that's why in traditional method the operational cost becomes more higher that's why this uh, technology shift towards semi dry vacuum system in semi dry vacuum system the boosters the mechanical boosters are back up with watering pumps basically the power is reduced because of uh, steam cost but most uh, uh, the most problematic thing is handling water that is uh, the effluent comes through comes through the watering pumping system to minimize the operational cost and high vacuum then uh, the new technology comes on the way that is mechanical vacuum booster with dry vacuum pumping system basically this is the modern and ancient way because the power consumption is very less and it has no effluent generation and there is no need to handle the water now in this mechanical uh, vacuum system we connect two or three boosters in series with a dry screw pump basically this is the dry screw pump which is coated of nickel and nickel peep because nature of cnsl is acidic that's why we prefer nickel plus peep coating in pump rotors and its in internals now condensers and receivers along with filter is installed in between the mechanical vacuum boosters and pump because it help us in recovery and it also protect the pump from decoating now this is the system the uh, the customers client uh, this is this is the feed line from customer and it passes through these mechanical vacuum boosters and this is the con uh, this is the condenser where we condensate and this is the filter to protect the pump now this is the picture showing two boosters with uh, with a backup pump and uh, this is the whole skid and piping we standardize the system for this piping ss316 because cnsl is corrosive now dry screw pump this is the positive dis displacement pump actually this is the advanced high variable pitch technology used in chemical industries these pumps are clean and highly reliable with flexible vacuum the the most advantage in this uh, vacuum pump is reliable vacuum because uh, the continuous the vacuum is in continuity it doesn't break in the process the technology 
Uh, the technology has excellent liquid handling, contrastly making it robust. This makes the pump robust in any process, in any chemical process where the vacuum is required. And the operational cost of uh, this dry screw vacuum system is very less rather than uh, uh, steam jet ejector system. Because in steam jet ejector systems, the nozzle of the steam jet ejector are jammed because of material. Now, we come to the advantage with the vacuum pump. This is the high vacuum speed volumetrically. New, new patent and seal mechanism, first of its kind, robust operational prolonged life. Now, low, low maintenance cost, and uh, we, we are offering peak and nickel peak coated screw and its body because uh, in uh, corrosive material, we give nickel peak coating. This is 100% dry pumping. There is no contamination with the chemical with the water and oil. Competitive pricing and strong service support. Now we come to the mechanical vacuum booster. What is mechanical vacuum booster? Mechanical vacuum booster as name suggests, it is the booster. It boosts the vacuum of the backup pump. If your backup pump is uh, creating high vacuum, then it enhances the uh, vacuum of the system to up to 8 to 10 times. In case of dry vacuum pump, we offer 0.1 millibar to 0.001 millibar. Vacuum boosters, vacuum boosters are uh, used to uh, ultimate pressure and to pumping more speed. That are, we have to increase the vacuum, then, you, uh, then we use mechanical vacuum boosters. These are the rotors of the booster, which rotating anti-clockwise to pump the material from the reactor. Now, advantages of vacuum booster. Advantage of vacuum booster is it is 100% dry. It is quiet and compact because it doesn't make um, noise. It has robust design, that's why its life is very long. It's high pumping speed with coupled to a bore pump. Power saving. Our vacuum boosters and pumps are awarded for the power savings. We save the power up to 30% with normal vacuum boosters and pump. Now, the features, benefit, and advantages. The first advantage of average vacuum systems, no steam is required, no effluent is generated, consistent vacuum and reliable vacuum, optimizing sizing, because our vacuum system is engineered and sized. This is the clean, green, and environment friendly system. And the system is plug and play. All the engineering is done in our factory. You have to only plug and uh, you have to only switch on and connect the uh, uh, reactor chamber. Now, dry screw vacuum pump benefits, that's uh, I have told you, the process benefit, faster pump down and processing time, Effective and effluent distillation while keeping process under optimum temperature and vacuum. Effective processing of high boiling solvents without initiating them or causing thermal breakdown. Now, in average, we believe that the 2030 rule. At average, target to reduce operating cost by 20% and benchmarking existing cost target to increase productivity by 30% and more. Now, moving forward, this is the cost benefit analysis of one of the case where this is the comparison between the cost of steam jet ejector that is wet system and our super wet system that is 7000 meter cube per hour of capacity. This is the power cost. In a steam jet ejector, 
this is the power cost of a 27.5 kilowatt and uh, steam cost uh, of 220 kg per hour we have calculated and the power saving total power saving is 22,79,575 in this cooling water utility cost we have considered the cost of treatment that is 14 meter cube the 40 rupees per meter cube and in the maintenance there is uh, we are using the filters that we have to change in a year or two that we have calculated with 22,79,575 now with these benefits the total cost we save on utility is 58.1 percent now what is additional with this using dry screw using dry screw this is lean and continuous vacuum which effect uh, which shows the effect in productivity of the material with dry with uh, steam jet ejector we can uh, we can uh, processing 11 ton per day but with dry screw pump the, uh, with the uh, power saving we, we can uh, we, we can process 13 ton per day that is we increase 18 percent in time saving now the when we use uh, wet water watering systems and a steam jet ejector the yield is up to 60 percent but when uh, when we use a dry screw vacuum system then yield uh, yield is yield can be achieved up to 63 to 65 percent because of the recovery the solvent recovery in a steam jet ejector we cannot recover the material because it mix up with the water and the steam but in dry in dry screw technology we can recover in the condenser we uh, we give post condenser and intermediate condenser too now say uh, this is a steam jet ejector system and dry screw vacuum pump comparison what is the problem uh, we are facing in the steam jet ejector system that is excessive effluent generation and high cost of water treatment of water discharge mixing of water vapor with steam and vacuum fluctuation during the process now in cardinal process uh, in cardinal production vacuum fluctuation we can't afford vacuum fluctuation because of uh, it will degrade the quality of the material and the other issues were choking of a steam jet nozzle desire desire vacuum not achieve high process cycle time and pollution norms by using uh, our vacuum pumping system this is the zero direct effluent generation this promotes zero direct effluent because this is totally 100% dry pumping and there is no cost of water treatment and it has it has uh, instantaneous start and stop buttons emergency buttons are also available in this vacuum system and the other benefits other benefits are this is the consistent and reliable solution deeper ultimate and process vacuum improved in product quality and leads to higher yield now what what we discovered in this replacement we have we have a value addition by technical service group initially we have installed some systems in cnsl cardinal distillation we faced some problem in, a problem of choking of dry screw pump because two rotors rotate anti clockwise to generate vacuum and the and the process material uh, polymerized in it that's why we have uh, that's why we have installed some accessories and uh, done some modification in the skid design and we have mod uh, and, and we have uh, impl implemented traps dimmer traps dimmer pad and intermediate condenser 
after that after installing uh, these accessories the we found that maintenance cost of the pump is drastically decreased now how to control contaminants and improve on pump performance that's what i was talking about the the accessories are very important that is trap condenser and receiver now this is the basically uh, what we are doing is hot pumping dust and particulate dust can dust can be a uh, dust can be a by product of a wide range of processing and needs to be filtered to prevent potential pump see, uh, pump seize in vacuum pumps rotor are moving at at high speed with very small running tolerance it is therefore no sur uh, no surprise that dust and foreign particle uh, from uh, from sublimation and the product corrosion are imp uh, are important item to be adjusted from the vacuum system dust from corrosion actually some uh, chemical and dust are com combined to uh, combined to form corrosive elements which can degrade the system that's why we give nickel and peak coating to the to the pump rotor and the and the uh, wet wet part for the for wet part of the vacuum system now seven golden rules for vacuum pump maintenance this is rule first read the operational manual and maintenance manual and follow up preventive checkups second warm up the pump with the inlet block start up cycle and a warm up cycle third never block a pump outlet the discharge of the outlet cannot be blocked because it should be free without of any blockage fourth use in inlet cold trap you need to protect the pump from corrosive vapor contaminants use gas blast when working with condensable vapors protect the pump from particulate with an inlet filter at process requirement seven run the pump after use of uh, run the pump after use with inlet closed to purge solvent contaminant before shutdown because the purging is most important thing in the dry scope pump simply start it take care of vacuum pump and they will take care of you now uh, my uh, my uh, last submission is to uh, please question uh, send the question to answer us thanks mr mukesh for briefing us about the senescence process now we would like to request all the all the participant please put your questions in a q and a box we will try to answer each and every question as time permits हेलो 
Yeah, Mr. Vinod, uh, I am receiving your query about how to trap non-condensable vapors. So I was just trying to explain you that since the name indicates these are non-condensable, but uh, what we are talking here is about vapors which are non-condensable but can be condensed in the process. These are called as carryover vapors which have the property to condense but somehow they were not settling in your pre-condensers. So in those cases we are offering you uh, exhaust condensers wherein the vapor pressure and the, uh, the pressure and the temperature meets the condensation criteria and the vapors gets collected. So the major yield uh, what you are receiving is before the vacuum pump and the part of the yield, uh, the recovery part you will receive on the exhaust of the pumps. Since Everest screw pumps are 100% dry, so you need not to worry about these vapors getting mixed with any kind of media. So here is how you can collect the, or the trap the non-condensable carryover vapors. Majority non-condensable is air. Air we cannot trap how we design the pump by considering the air leakage load onto the pump. I hope I am able to answer. If you have another question, please write it down, sir. Yeah, hi, Mr. Dupeshwar. Uh, 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 sir, where we have a range available from uh, 1,000 meter cube to 18,000 meter cube per hour vacuum systems it depends on the type of batch or the continuous process that you are taking up so we have the capacity to match your requirement based on the process needs so you can reach out to a technical team for getting more information sir we'll be sharing this you can raise your queries on the url mentioned uh, we'll be able to assist you Yeah, Mr. Venkat Subramanian, uh, you want to say something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Tell me, sir. Sir, can you hear me, sir? I can hear you, sir. Please continue. Yes, sir. Uh, we have one doubt, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, you have explained uh, the benefits between uh, dry vacuum pump and uh, water and the uh, jet vacuum pump. Correct, sir? Right, sir. Jet vacuum pump. Uh, benefits. Of dry vacuum pump, but we have a water ring vacuum pump, sir. Okay. Can you uh, give the explanation, sir? See, uh, between these the kind of pumps, water, water ring vacuum pump and are, yes, I'll just brief you, sir. Water ring vacuum pumps are being traditionally used to generate vacuum in such processes because the technology was not much. Uh, available in the market that time and uh, even it was very expensive during those old days. So everyone has gone for liquid ring vacuum pumps or water ring vacuum pumps. Uh, there is no much drawback. The only major drawback you have is creation of vacuum. Since all of your process is associated with generation of vacuum, wherein you reduce down the process temperature to improve the quality and yield of your process, so there you need some pumps which can create high vacuum. So in such applications, we are uh, right now uh, suggest you to go with the dry screw vacuum pump, which is the current technology. Liquid ring pumps have a limitation when the vapors come from the process, they mix with the water and this water gets exhausted to the effluent treatment plant. So you create more effluents, more foul smell in your plant, rather getting a good quality product and yield out of your process so the vacuum generation is main point second is pollution and third is the batch time like if you are using a batch process where you feed in the feed and try to take the output in 10 hours you might be able to receive it within six to seven hours with the dry screw vacuum pumps this is just an approximation so don't go by the words it depends process to process and may vary depending upon the process size Yes, sir. One yeah. more doubt, sir. Uh, yes, sir. We, why we hesitate to go for dry vacuum pump? Uh, compared to WRP, the uh, watering vacuum pump, this uh, dry vacuum pump will give a lot of uh, maintenance issues 
and we, that will make cause lot of production stoppage. That's why we are uh, hesitating to go for dry vacuum pumps, sir. Uh, so there, there is no is, machine in this no world which is not looking for maintenance. We are not assuring you of any kind of pump which is 100% yes, free from maintenance. We need to take care of our pumps. We need to provide timely repair and uh, supervision to the pumps. We need to follow the systematic operating procedures defined by the company who is supplying you. In this way, we will be able to maintain them well, sir. The cost is not high, sir. Maintenance cost is not high. In dry screw pump, you actually don't need maintenance. This is a fact. And rather you get more recovery and more ROI, return on your investment, in case you use these kind of pumps. Sir, what about the uh, uh, production? Sorry? The stoppage, sir. The maintenance cost, uh, when it, will, it may come at said, but uh, when we have any problems, sir, what about how to uh, rectify it immediately that we don't have the enough knowledge uh, that uh, that's why we are... Sir, there is no worry, sir. Then we, See, our production there is are many that. machines. Our market will Yes, Mr. Venkat, there are many machines we use daily where we don't have much knowledge on it. Even I am using so many machines and our team used to do. So we have support provided at different locations. Like in Hyderabad, we have a regional office where we have a service team and sales team to assist you. We have office in Gujarat where our team is available to support you in terms of spare service and sales. We have the regional team in Delhi, where our base is located. So we are spread across the nation to provide you the timely support and services, sir. We are solution providers. So we will help you in gaining benefits in your processes rather than selling the machines only. Okay, sir. Do you have any AMC system for this? Uh, yes, we have AMC, we have CMC. When do we have any AMC? Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Uh, we, uh, within how, how many days you can, any problem is comes in, sir. How many days it will take, sir, to resolve it? It, sir, it, it depends can, upon site to, to site. site sir, is... Where is your site located, yes. Mr. Venkat? We are, uh, I am from Tamil Nadu, sir. We are uh, uh, near, from 300 kilometers from uh, Chennai, sir. Which company name, sir? We are Kumar Swami Industries. Kumar Swami. Yes, yes. Uh, sir, I think you were already using our some of the products, if you are familiar with and those machines are performing very well for a long time. Yes, sir. And uh, we are assuring you that uh, it is not very far from any of the locations. We have Hyderabad and Vizek regional team, which can reach out to you within 24 to 48 hours, possibly depending upon the availability and can resolve your issues. Sir. Okay, sir. Thank you very thank much, you, Mr. Venkat. You. Anyone has any questions, you, you are allowed to speak, just let me know by raising your hand. Uh, Mr. Sharish, uh, I am seeing your question over here. Uh, how do you compare the capital cost of 2000 meter cube dryer system as compared to steam ejector systems? Uh, see, sir, since the technologies are different, entirely different, so we do not have any kind of cost comparison practically. But uh, yes, there is a drastic difference between the costing of the two. We can discuss one to one on these cases. Our team will reach out to you soon, sir. Uh, anyone has more questions from us? Uh, Mr. Amit Pai, do you have any question? Mr. Muli Dharan Nair, Mr. Rajesh, Mr. Vinod. Okay, uh, 
I believe we are done with the questions. Even if you have any queries, gentlemen, uh, we request you to drop in your email or our concerned team members will reach out to you very soon on the queries that you have. And uh, we hope you uh, We hope that uh, we'll be able, we have been able to give you the uh, relevant details about the process and the type of systems that we are proposing. Uh, we'll be happy if you share the, your process details. We can serve you and help you in achieving your process results in a better way. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for your valuable time. We'll come up with another webinar soon. Thanks, everyone, for attending the webinar. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you so much for attending the webinar.